What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today we have a random pack opening for you guys. So we have a new set of different packs that I got here, but uh, yeah, so let's go on ahead. Uh, it's going to be 10 packs per video, and I actually have like a kind of a weird number on these pack openings, so I will actually be opening up 11 packs for the first video. So let's go on ahead and uh, choose our packs. I am going to have my eyes closed, and uh, let's see. I know you guys can't tell what I'm doing. You can't tell if I have my eyes closed. You're just going to have to trust me. Let's see, what is that? Three... I have to recount, I'm sure. Five. I should probably do a face cam thing. Seven. But, I don't know. I don't want people to think I'm copying, like, Simply Lucky or something for doing that. Let's see, that's nine, I believe, what we're up to. It's hard to think about what I'm saying. I also have my eyes closed and trying to get packs and count. <laughs> so let me make sure. We have the 11 packs on here. Alright, we got our 11 packs. Let's put these over to the side for the next random pack opening. There we go. And let's see what packs we got. Hopefully, pretty good variety. Not bad. There's a few doubles. A little bit of Force of the Breaker, it seems like, in there. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we get from these. Doesn't really matter on the order, I guess. Storm of Ragnarok. And we have us as. Symphonic Warrior uh, Basis. There we go. I couldn't say that right for some reason. It's <laughs> just like I couldn't speak. And uh, a Cynicism of the uh, Six Samurai. That's a good uh, rare as well. So starting off with a super rare on this opening. It's a good way to start off a random pack opening. I think, yeah, I think they got another Symphonic Warrior recently. Like, I think it was the exclusive though for Japan if I remember correctly. It's hard to remember now since they're doing the exclusives. Fortune Lady Light. It's a good fortune lady to get. Not bad. Invasion of Chaos. An older pack, so will it be good for us? We'll see. Uh, Thuma Shuriken. Never know with some of the older packs. Also, a DNA transplant was in there. That's pretty cool. Another Storm of Ragnarok. Get some of the Polar Gods or something. That'd be awesome. Have a Blackwing Boris the Sharp for a rare. Kind of. There we go. Kind of line them up a little bit. Force of the Breaker. Like I said, we got quite a few Force of the Breaker in this. Have a Warrior of Atlantis for a rare. A few of the Crystal Beasts were also in there. Ancient Prophecy. There we go. Wouldn't focus for a second. And we have a Flame Bell uh, Commando. That's good. Ultra Rare. Very nice. That's a pretty cool card, I remember. I remember actually using that a little bit back then. Also, it's funny how some of the older cards, too, like the, uh, the holographics, have a little bit darker uh, ink to them. So it's kind of cool to see that again. Uh, Quackamere Speeder for a rare. So, so far we have a Super and an Ultra from this. Let's see, backs to the wall. Have a uh, Ancient City Rainbow Ruins for a rare. Kind of there. Seems like it's, the camera's a little bright, so I turned it down a, a notch on there. Raging Battle. And we have a uh, Forbidden Chalice. Ultimate Rare. That's awesome. Very nice. That's a really good card to get from that. That was... Forbidden Chalice was actually in there? Huh. I completely forgot that it was in Raging Battle. That's really cool. Especially Ultimate Rare. And uh, Morphtronic Remotant. I totally forgot that it was in that set. That's pretty cool. Uh, Force of the Breaker. Lucky Iron Axe. Extreme Victory. We have a Hush Psychic uh, Cleric, and uh, yeah, the 
The name seems a little bit higher than normal. And we also got a Mechlord Astro Dragon Ascaris as well for a uh, super rare. I always thought that one was a pretty cool looking card. The design stuff. I like the Mechlords. They're pretty interesting looking. They were cool like bad guy cards, you know? And last pack. What do we end with? And we have a Phantom Dragon. Ultimate Rare. That's awesome. That's a really good one to get, too. Or a pretty cool one to get. I remember uh, whenever people were using this card and everything. And we also have a Maniacal Servant for a rare. So there we go. 11 packs for the first one. The other ones will have 10 packs each. And it looks like we did very well in this. We got two Ultimates, an Ultra, and uh, two Supers. So really good start for the Ram Pack opening. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to come and rate and subscribe. Probably after this random pack opening, I'm thinking that I'll probably do like a big opening sort of thing because I know people are wanting that, of course, and I promised to have something like that earlier, but since I bought a case of Clash of Rebellions and I might also get one for the Mega Tins, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I'm spending a lot of money <laughs> pretty much recently, so I kind of want to wait till probably closer to November, December, or maybe, maybe even October or something before I want to do a big opening. And just because, yeah, with the case opening and everything, it's a lot of money I've been spending, so I hate to keep, you know, spending too much money lately. You know, I kind of need to save up and stuff too. But yep, hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.